Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police channel. To our loyal viewers, subscribers and Patreon members. At the channel, we are a group of law-abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen. But not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because they save lives. This is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives at this channel. We at the channel aid criminals with a passion and do not want them over here. We do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. Over here, we want you to go to prison or the departure lounge at Madden. Moving on to today's video. Yeah, so um, as you know at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, you know that we are all about you know informer for live and gunman for dead. You know that that's what we promote over here. I wanna like criminal in no matter who's the guy or what political party them affiliated with. So you know we had done a video and we have to um we have talked about a detective inspector who was shot. Yeah, shot and he, he the, the the job was that he was supposed to be killed. Yes. He was supposed to be killed. Um yes, um by detective Inspector Ox. Yes, uh, he was an inspector yet. Um, Detective Ox and Cowboy. Yeah, they you know they had received money from East Kingston to kill this man. Yes, his name is Derek Powell. Derek Powell is a man who was born and raised in Jonestown and went to Casey. So he's not an ordinary police, you know, a bright boy, you understand? So um he you know at the time he was stationed before before he was transferred to St. Andrew South to be killed. He was stationed at um, Rockford Police Station and he was there with um, SSP Steve McGregor who was from, you know, in a part of East Kingston at our, um, Franklin Town, if my memory serves me right. So both of them, they are friends, you know, because they are forties. Yeah, you know, that's what they, they, the motto of, you know, um, being, you know, KSE alumni. So... I don't know what had transpired between um, Derek Powell, detective, at the time, detective inspector Derek Powell and, um, yes, I want to hear so-called Dan, Dan I. Williams, allegedly, and member of parliament, Philip Powell. So we had, based on the information we had received back then from in the 1990s when he was shot, when he was transferred to St. Andrew South, as we heard us say already in the video, that he was transferred directly from Rockford straight to Olympic Gardens. So, uh, you know, at the time we had, you know, you know, we had fam we, we have family that live in Warica Hill. We have family that live in Magura Gully. We have family that live in a burger. Um, and we now go call the other road, the man, in a rock Rockford. You understand? So, the bottom line is that now, he, you know, we had received information that he was transferred directly Yes, that detective, car, uh, detective inspector Powell was transferred directly to St. Andrew South for them to kill him. Yes, we, you know, have knowledge of the information. We could not um, go and tell detective inspector Powell that they they transfer a year for you to kill for um for them to kill her, cowboy and and ox. Reason being is that it's not that either keep it his mouth, keep it his life. All of these men they work, they used to work together at CIB headquarters, flying squad. Me, um, I am not friends with both men, with Ox or Knight. We work, we used to work together. We still work together, but we, we are not friends. Because these men are snake. Them come like green lizard. Them change in a... Them, they, 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 you know, they, nothing for them change. See, I've seen a lot of people that claim that they were friends with them and them destroy them. So that you don't want to be friends with them people yeah, because they... Um, it, they have no tolerance, it's just compliance. So anything with anything that you go against with them, uh, them cut you off. I just saw it go on them just dry. Yes, we have seen it happen so, um, so many times. You understand? Because like, uh, yeah, there's a detective carpal who was killed years ago. Um, his name is Dave Daly. He was killed in Brook Valley. And the same housing complex where my uncle lived. And my uncle was there to hear him beg for his life. You understand? Um, when... You know, he, he was um, receiving, 
you know, the deadly gunshot wounds to his body. And Dave Dalian and Derek Knight, you know, they were Batty and Chamber, you know, at Olympic Gardens. Yes, um, anyone that they sent to prison is who did not have any money. I am just telling you that as a fact. If you think I'm lying, you can ask Pilly Blacks and all those people from Tower. Anyone that these men sent to prison is because they didn't have any money. So they were batty and chamber. So, you know, um, how cowboy and them operate, you know, as much as you are, you are a criminal, if you are a criminal with them, you cannot disagree with them on anything. Or you, you understand? Or you can't go out of line. You have to alias in line and, and, and accept everything what they are doing. Or if you don't accept it, uh, them coming for you, you understand? So that's what happened with Dave Daly and, and him. So he was able to, um, you know, Dave Daly was, um, he was very instrumental getting Dave Daly transferred from St. Andrew Salt. I work in a St. Andrew Salt in a Daly was one of the very um, known detective, you know, not no, you know, big time street detective, but detective in a courtroom like um, Norman Sticky Hamilton. Sticky Hamilton, um, who was a deputy superintendent now? Um, um, Hunt, Winston Hunt, who is a superintendent of police now. They're, you know, these are um, apart of all the three of them. The only one you would, um, the only one out of the three of them you would say is a rounded police. Is sticky, yeah, sticky, yeah, yeah sticky can sticky. A man will deal with them things out of road, and sticky is a, a, um, a real investigator. So sticky, sticky was totally different from. From those, uh, from you know, those three detectives, um, Hunt, Dave Daly, and Norman Hamilton. So, Sticky and them, Sticky and Cowboy and Ox, they weren't friends. They hate Sticky, you know. They tried to destroy even Sticky already because they had seen Sticky as a threat to them, their elevation, because Sticky bright, you know, bright, 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 bright police. Very, very creative de detective, even Dave Daly. And Dave Daly will tell you that, hey, look, when I go to high school, you know, Oh, he said me go Petersfield Secondary or something like that at Westmoreland and he may tell us him come from Birdmouth and in the Shima in country. I only police that I have known that who's from rural Jamaica and him proud of him country, him tell us a bird mountain him come from and you understand. And he never never thin skin. So as I said, being around these boatmen, you cannot you cannot um you cannot disagree with them. You always have to go along with them. If not, eh, then we try. So Dave Daly and Cowboy, them fall out, them transfer him, send him a flying squad. That was that not that wasn't sufficient for him. So he like literally like going down there just to find something for him, get the man in a problem. So he went. He was an officer now, you know. So in a police force, when you're an officer, when you when you're an officer, when you come inside a room and you're subordinate, see, you know them thing they're all colonial thing. All that for cut out. You, have, you you as a junior are supposed to stand up. Remember, say, man, Daly and a friend, you know, them followed. And Daly had to write a document on Cowboy. Yes, and send it to the Commissioner of Police. Fran send it straight up to the Commissioner of Police, Francis Fab. If they had investigated all of this, everything that's on that report, Cowboy had in a prison. You understand? So, you know, um, Francis Fab was his handler, so everything went, reached back to him and he knew what Daly had written. So, him just started text it from Daly and. They didn't do anything about the report, but it was a damning report, you know. Because, you understand, I had seen it. The man detailed the crimes in the man. Daly was witness to all kind of cr crime, you know, that um, Cowboy, Derek, um, Cowboy, Asmo, Clapping Night committed, you know. And in the long run, they didn't do, because a female angler, them, you know, Commissioner of Police, Francis Fab, Tilford, John's name, I'm not an angler. Can you tell him go out there and them rob and them commit crime? Them have them, pee, them, them have to pay, them have to hand over. Their part, they must hand over their part, so I saw them get protected. Yeah, protection. So we just show you know. So what happened now that he was able to get daily reverted, put him back in because he came inside of the office in a flying squad. So what daily did was hold on his head, pretend like him not see me because I want to give him that compliment. And him deliberately go over daily and Detective Corporal daily, so him call him enough for daily, acknowledge him now for give him the compliment. And when I was thing in time, you are giving, a man respect your rank, I am not respect you. So I use that now, you know, because I know, say, the two of them, they were friends, you know, them fall out now. So I'm an officer and daily, a, you know, a regular, you know, regular detective. And daily see, just look upon him and daily not even answer him or anything like that. And him write up entry at CIB headquarters 
and then him come and write one of Unsby and write a document. Then Tutus, they refer daily and send him, um, them send daily to St. Elizabeth. Then, and him, him come from Westmoreland, but you know, after all the years, him in the police force, him East Station in Kingston, so, and that's where him children, him, so I try to come back. And him get help on them thing because, Every, you know, the, the hierarchy of the police force, you know, especially in a detective um, er, um, division of uh, 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 the police force, realized that everything that was happening was not only retaliation, but it's malice because they were friends. So the deal was able to come back to the fore and you know, him get transferred and him come to Spanish town and him get transferred and him send him up to Sissoka. And then him come back south and then him dead. So that for sure you say you can't be friends with them people, yeah. Them people are not keep friending all just money. So what happened was that now so they got paid. Information received they got paid to kill Derek Powell. Three of them used to work, you know. You think I could not tell Derek Powell. I told Bobby, you understand? I know that when I told Bobby that hey Bobby, cause Bobby and I work together. So when I told Bobby, I said, Bobby, you know, say the man there, you know, say I bring them, bring him for kill him. And Bobby, I said, what well, you know, I tell him, I said, me, if you go tell him, if you go, him go tell them, say, me, tell him, say, they come for kill him. And then them turn around and plan for kill me. You understand? I must say, boy, I threw in a ports. You understand? We left them business, because all of them are friends. The whole of them, you said, they are flying squad. You understand? Me and you, they are south. Me and you stick to, stay together as usual, my brother. So we just keep them out lock. We are not business with nobody business, because the whole of them, the whole of them are comrade. Yeah, when we say comrade, them are PMP, them are, hey, them money, you know, when they talk politics, you know, them money are more PMP than Michael Manley. All three of them. But them say cowboys are man, is a party in power. So this minute, my PMP, when PMP in power, when Labour in power, I'm in a, in a Labour. So you understand. But Ox now, everybody knows Ox is our brigadista and our PMP police and them things. Them man, they are, them man, they used to rob ballot box. Them man, they try to kill. Them man, they try to disarm Edward Siaga in a 1993 election. Him man, the police at a corporal, Clifford Coleman. Yes, the drug dealer. And yes, Mr. Coleman, we have done the necessary for you, man. You and your family. Because you think that you can't disrespect and, and say all kind of things about me and you get away there. No, me not forgive. Me not forgive. Me not forgive. Me not like criminal. And you're a criminal. You understand? So, I did not tell him. You understand? So, you know, before, you know, so moving on, you understand? So we're show you know what happened to people, you know, when, when you give up your brain, you know. You understand what I'm saying? And we're gonna show you what happened. All of them, you know, all three policemen, you know, all three policemen, you know, detective, detective Derek Powell. Yeah, I call him like I ca um I call him because I, I try to find out what really happened, why them try to kill him. You understand? And him never you understand what I'm saying. But we're gonna tell you because the thing is that you no, know, so a man from East Kingston. Yeah, a man were privy to everything from out, out by East Kingston, Rockford. He never wanted to go on the record and he said, boy, the things then that he's telling me, he said, boy, Danai Williams, if him go in the, that's why I don't want Danai Williams to know say, him because the part of the thing. Um, there was a policeman, him just give me a look in, him, him tell me about a policeman that named Sergeant Steele, Leroy Steele that used to be at um, Rallington Town. He said that Steele had stolen some. Um, Danai Williams, I, I, um, he had collected some money from the sale of some cocaine f um, for Danai Williams and he brought Danai Williams foot and Danai Williams let a man kill him by the name of Greasy. So we're going, and he said that this thing with, with Powell had nothing, and he said that he's saying that um, the MP, Philip Powell, ignorant to everything that we were saying, and Danai Williams was just riding on Philip Powell's name. Because he want protection, you understand? But he said that Philip Powell didn't know of the it and Derek Powell and didn't even know what transpired between Philip um, Danai Williams and Derek Powell, you understand? And if you look, you go and see uh, Powell, that is the man where you see right beside the PMP logo and you see the red arrow pointed to his head. Yeah, that is the man he born and raised in a Jones where I'm from. You know? the man, they, they, hey, look, all the entire killer, the man, the family and them thing there, you know? the man is still a PMP, you know, I saw them stay. The, you understand? So, when people give up their brains to an organization, they become like zombies because they lose their ability to think for themselves and make their own decisions. They become mindless flow followers of the organization carrying out its order without question. You know, this can happen for several reasons. One, one reason is that 
people may be drawn to the organization's power, wealth or status promises. They may believe that joining the organization will enable them to achieve their goals more quickly. Another reason is that people may be vulnerable to the organization's manipulation. So you know them easy to manipulate because they can't think for themselves and anything with the party say, them go along with it. So everybody we look right now on, this, on the LCD. Yeah, that's a Philip Parallel to the upper left of the screen. Yeah, you know, Philip Parallel boy, um, all kind of thing now about him, baby mother and all kind of thing, the daytime child and one whole heap of thing. But, we, you know, we keep you abreast because, you know, boy, it, I, I, I don't know, boy, I, I would never want for you to know you're not a man of shoes. Boy, this, I never say a man salt, so that's <laughs> Philip Parallel. I don't know if I salt him salt. Or bad luck, or obia. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about obia, but I don't talk as a Jamaican, you understand? But boy, I'm only one for me, and not the man that shows that. But hey, the man does, I just pee a problem, you understand? The man, hey, boy, I tell you, come like Peter Bunting, them really do a thing upon the man. Them, hey, them tell life on him and take away him visa. And that's why I mean, he's not the president of the PMP LGBTQ plus party, you know. And look what, everything that happened right now. Boy, I tell you, say, hey, boy. I just saw it go still. I feel him tribulation, you know. So we just here I just offer our sympathies to him. We have received call from people, you know, we live at East Kingston, you know, who not sorry for him, you know, I burn fire upon him, you know. Cause some people we are telling you straight, some people are saying that Mr. Porter, don't sorry for him, you know, cause I'm a wicked man and this and that and one and two little things and that is what they're saying. You know. You understand? So based on the information received and obtained on him thing on the street. We know say we work it. We know say film constituency. I want to crab up constituency. They never try yet for ever dismantle it. The only time was in the nineteen eighties. Car Mountain View, out of East Kingston, that the place is just like how you say um, when the United States military, United States military go in a Fallujah and Ramadi, and them go house to house. That's all them have to do from Warwick Hill come cross and you know, lock it down and you know, lock down East Kingston. Forget all of them gun there. I just saw it go. You understand? But you know, I'm willing for it. a whole heap of casualty because they have the right for them out there. You know? And they don't ram for use it, you know. You understand? So, so moving on. You know, so the organization may use propaganda and brainwashing to control its members, its members' thoughts and behavior. People are looking for a sense of belonging and community. The organization may give them a sense of purpose and identity that they lack in their lives. Whatever the reason, when people give up their brains to an organization, they become like zombies and are programmed like organic robots with codes of how to operate and function with no empathy or humanity within because they lose their individuality and their ability to think for themselves. They become pawns of the organization to be used and manipulated as sees fit. Awareness of the dangers of giving up one's brain to an organization that a criminal organization is essential if you are drawn into a group demanding loyalty and obedience you must step back and ask yourself why what are the group's true motives what is it trying to achieve and what is the cost of joining so i saw it going to join the pmp lgbtq plus criminal organization. you have to give up everything no that them not deal with tolerance or dissent compliance that's why the people, them, you know, the, the followers, them, they are just organic robots and them program them for lies. They are liars, they are narcissistic people. So aware of dangers of giving up one's brain to an organization is essential. If you are drawn into a group demanding loyalty and obedience, you must step back and ask yourself these questions. You understand? Most people don't ask questions because they cannot think. Them allow the organization to think for them. So remember, you know, you are your own person. You have your thoughts, feelings, and belief. No one should have the power to control you or tell you what to think. If you feel like you are losing yourself to an organization, get out. So that's why, you know, we, you know, we stay from the outside and we can tell us that the PMP LGBTQ plus party is a criminal organization. And the reason why we are telling that because we're inside of it and we have to come out and realize that no, this is not right. All of the things that they have done to the people of my community, then what they have done to the police. 
You understand? Them not like poor people, you know, all you hear them go on, you know. Yeah, and we tell you already, you know. Remember saying that, them take a, a, they are the one, you know, who take away Vibes Cartel, lies a firearm, you know, and turn Vibes Cartel into a criminal. Although him have criminal intention long time before me even get the gun. And we soon tell you some things about Vibes Cartel. You're going to hear for yourself. You understand? And this is a channel, you know. If you're not learning anything over here, that means you're at the wrong channel. Because we're just here about educating people and informing you and inspire people. You understand? That's what we're all about. We just on Team Jamaica. You understand? So, so there's nothing more important than your freedom and individuality. For several reasons, someone who claimed to be close to Detective Inspector Derek Powell might have hired other detectives to kill him. So one possibility is that the person was not close to Detective Inspector Powell and was using him to get close to the police department. This person could have been planning to attack the police department or a specific police officer and they may have seen Powell as a way to gain access to the department. So, the re so what happened was that now, so they transferred Derek Powell now from Rockfort and sent him to Olympic Gardens straight. Him never stop at Unspear. Normally you get transferred in a, any division, in a police force from one division, you have to stop at the head station first and then, you know, not because you're an inspector or whatever, they have to see, you know, your, 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 your work, work and, and your work, you, you, you know, your work, work and your conduct. Not because you're an inspector, so they want to see the kind of person you are, you know, so they observe you, the people in my head station, all of the, you know, the top brass and say, yeah, you know, the man are ready to go out there and everything. But for you to get those transfer from one head, um, old station straight to one next one, I want different division. Uh, that kind of mind boggling, you understand what I'm saying, as a detective, you know. And he was even senior than senior the detective that was there at the time. So he's, he's the one who's supposed to even get transferred and supposed to be in charge of Unspear. You understand, in charge of the detective, they were Unspear as a DDI, but them sent him elsewhere because, you know, say PMP, PMP LGBTQ plus criminal organization with his government then. That was in the 1990s. So the night now when, when them. We knew, you know, that they were going to kill Powell because we heard, we heard it. You understand that he was supposed to be killed. So the Friday night in question, now you know, when them are when them, um, when them are kill him, now you know, when them are go um, kill him. So they were going to do a roofing patrol or something. Them, them claim said them just come up with, but we know say them plan it and all them thing there. So at the time, now. I had decided to say, look, because these men weren't my friends. Yeah, Ox, Ox and Cowboy weren't my, I didn't see them as my friend or colleagues. I saw both men as thieves and I am a police officer because I, I would speak publicly in the CIB office in any Monday morning meeting. I would tell them, I said, look, I am, a I am a detective and both of you are thieves. So you understand what I'm saying? They never like that because them say, me, I disrespect them. I truth, if you're a thief, you're supposed to glad say you're a thief. You understand? So because of that and they had um they have been saying things that reached back to me that they were praying for me to involve in any shooting or anything like that so that they can suspend me or make me get charged and I saw them saying them evil, ego. So they were believing anybody is supposed to talk back to them. You're supposed to treat them like they are some deity. I'm gonna deal with that because no man is a god to me. So I had stopped, you know, me cool off our street. So the Friday night now. Them say, well, all right, come, get your gun. I said, no, I'm not going to stay in the office and them thing there. And them know say, for me, say, boy, I may stay. Them know say, I may stay. Because me a man, is a street man. But I go out there with, me no want you know, nothing with them and them thing there. Because true, me know them are criminal. And if me, if I go out there and them thing there, any vehicle I sit down and I sit down and I back of the vehicle. I sit down on the front and the vehicle. The man can't put me in the front and police shoot me in the back of my head and then you say, me dead and you gun, go off. As the, the, the man, the man, the next style that you know, and they want to kill you. You understand? So I told him that I, at the time, me and him, me and him wasn't even a, a friend. Me and him never friend. You understand? When me and him work, me and him kick off because them like people where them feel like them can't control. No guy can't control me because me and a robot. So the Friday night now, um, so I must say, Paul Willing and him come in and you know, shot and you know, him have a little weight and thing and head ball and yeah, him heal me and me heal him back. I, mean, I said to myself, a boy, I'm not even know saying I'm, you know, I walk with the people that were supposed to kill him. You understand? And them left and why am I at the station? Like, oh, I found, and a pig gun shot me up. 
anyway, um, you know, based on the information received and obtained from the people them, and the people them are white wings save power life, you know. So you have a policeman now, him named Anthony Roberts, him dead, you know. Anthony Roberts, a detective sergeant, him and a cowboy, a cowboy, a country music work in Manchester, a cowboy, um, one time, they have to bring some police, some country to come work at Mobile Reserve, and you understand, he was the only uniformed police that came to South and end up in a St. Andrew South, because he did their own cowboy. And cowboy that make him not stop eat bun and cheese and Pepsi, and him have diabetes and dead. While cowboy make him a eat that cowboy I eat fish in a so them man stay you know? So he might eat fish and them thing there. And I make me the man and I give man money for buy bun and cheese and Pepsi. So he end up have diabetes and dead. So the Friday night now, they might come down um a white um a white a white wing and them shot Powell in the back of him head. Them shot him. Roberts. So when him supposed to fire the next shot now for finish him now, I people them a white wing now um pulpy. Yeah, Paul Pisa, um, he was like, he was a done over there, but you understand? He was a done even at the time. When we said done, he never got jail or anything like that, but he have influence, him get money um, from bullied them and Waldi and for kill people and them thing, because his Paul Pisa steps on when he and ratty. He mean to kill a whole heap of people and them thing there. And eventually he was killed by a brother named Boro, Boro there, um, then I'm told now. Boro, PMP, you know, and him turn labor right now, so him say. Him that um, Denham Town. I don't know how them do it. How him left from back to and end up now living in Denham Town. I don't know how them not dirty, man. He's a big PMP. So he's living in a labor right community now and them thing there. And him kill Pulpy. So it was Pulpy, them and the people, them a ball out and say, hey, you can't come tell a lie. Say, I'm a police, uh, say, a gunman over here shoot him. And I want to shoot the police, you know. And I try to kill him and I, and I fire up all the shot like a real shootout and all kind of thing. Anyway, them couldn't get to finish Powell and them thing there. So them came a KPH and him get shot and me over here really say control um detective um one shoot out that that you know one policeman shot and injury in his head and him unconscious. So Bup and them came got a KPH and thing and a shot a gunshot him getting him in so you know him supposed to dead. Him never dead and thing and uh I'm gonna look for him I'm gonna look for Powell and thing, me and Bobby. You understand and see him and you know about drip and him have on him thing and you have a brother now, one, one Indian brother now, who used to work at a special branch named Mikey. He's my Mikey, a friend, big fat Indian brother, Mikey. Yeah, Mikey come from in a, yeah, him come from in a city to McKinstonian. And Mikey, Mikey, <laughs> boy, I don't know if Mikey alive, you know, he's an Indian, you know. He's a man who love laugh and them things, you know, but they understand. Dangerous police, you know, but he's my Derek, a friend. And Mikey, I said, boy, he must say, I really, I, I really choose to say, you know, so boy, the man them get paid for kill Derek. And me, I said, boy, I don't know, you know, at first, me, you know, we can't go tell him that. He did work at a special branch, so him have, him have knowledge of that information. You understand? Oh, me if you go tell him that and them thing, the whole of them are friends, the, the whole of them joined police work before me, so you don't know who's who, you know, because you have to understand, say, I just saw it going to police work and them thing, when you work on the street. Not because I'm on a police, mean to say, I'm a police like you. Because some of my police them are them are more dangerous than criminal, you know. Believe you me, you know. You understand? So anyway, um Yeah, Paul will get shot and I don't know if at, you know then after that now when him get shot and thing and you know you hear you hear say boy Oxa say a long time him for dead kind of news carry him care news to tone you with both him mind and them do things and all kind of something. So I just saw it go. So the man, um, you know, the man from Outer East, I said, boy, Philip Paul, you know, involved in it. And the man tell me, say, I done it. So I'm tell you about an incident you now, why, you know, we're not, say, we, 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 we are not saying that, we, we are not saying that it, you know, based on the information received, that is not true. You know, because everything, you know, if you add one and one and you get two, you, you can't get three, you know, one and one or two. So it's allegedly that Danai Williams had paid them money. Because Danai Williams is a friend with the police, you know, unless you are kill people for him, you know. May I tell you that, you know, straight. No if, nor buts. Any police or Danai Williams are friend with, and I'm not talking about no allegedly, you have to do things to him. Kill people, I saw him work. You understand, I see him on the down of Florida.
we're in Florida right now, up at West Palm Beach. You understand? So we know so we know that 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 that's a reason why them you know they may not try to kill Powell and them thing there. So after that, um you know, we did our fallout with see the same two police and Ox and Cowboy. Yeah man and them try them verb them do everything man for make certain some me dead. Yeah man, take away all my gun. You understand? At three times Ox make them take away my gun and them come out on speak come see me with my nine, you know. All because of Willie I got and at uh, money and because them them have them they, they are the supervisor now, you understand? Imagine thief in charge of you. I'm saying well, the thief not supposed to be in charge of me, you know. Cause me a police and them a thief. Mm-hmm. So anyway, you know you understand? Anyway, you know, I just I just wanna I just wanna them thing there. Yeah, you know see so So you know so moving on. So one of the reasons it's essential to note that this is a very serious crime, you know, when them try to kill Powell. You understand? You know, so they may have wanted to kill Powell to silence him, to prevent him from investigating a particular case or to discredit the police department. We don't know the real reason, although there are like, th- like two, three different theories, because them say they have a falling out of a transaction you know, people don't want to, because people afraid for talk, because them afraid it go back and, on the people who know about it, I know, say, boy, I just saw it go on them thing there. You understand? So if you're not close to it, you wouldn't know, and sometimes people, you have to learn to protect people, in, the informant them information. So, moving on. So whatever the reason is, it's essential to note that it's a very serious crime. Them try to kill the police. Anyone who hires, uh, hires someone, to kill another person is guilty of murder, even if they do not physically commit the crime themselves. It is also important to know that this is a sporadic occurrence. Most police officers are not killed in the line of duty. Police officers are more likely to be killed in vehicle accident and they can be shot and killed. So, so this I think now where the, the you know where the the, the 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 man from out of East Kingston now I tell me now. So I might, um, you know tell me about. Uh, my brother know where them kill a country. You know what I mean? Him say, boy, I don't know. I sell Renita Adams down there. kill him because him kill steel. Yeah. So what happened now was that, yeah, one, one, one youth um, named Paul Harvey, them call him Greasy, a 42-year-old youth, he's the one that killed Leroy, this, um, Sergeant Leroy Steele. Leroy Steele now, yeah, him was like, him a body and chamber with Danai Williams, you know, so. Yeah, same, allegedly, same Danai Williams. And the thing is that now some transaction with coke and money and them thing there, and him broke down I Williams foot. Greasy, that are the man that that are the same man where um Renita Adams them does out. Greasy now was one of um that in name Paul Harvey. Greasy was one of Danai Williams shatter. And the thing is that now Leroy Steel no greasy. So they were at a dance, so Greasy had gotten the order for kill steel because he robbed Danai Williams, coke money. So I saw him dead. So after he killed steel, he run to a country at Trelawney. Danai Williams sent him down there with a taxi man. And then he sent Renita Adams and go down there and he sought him out. That's how he understand. That's, that's what, you know, straight from within the organization. So that's to show you know. So the man I said now, there, you know, that was, a, you know, after Powell was shot, you know, this is what happened to Steel. Steel um Powell get was transferred, so you understand. And that's all him can that's all because he even a big way say boy, you know, don't you know, him don't want him think public because he's still there in the in the garrison and all of these things. So that's why we are telling you. So I just say like, you know, you play with dog, you must get flee. You understand? So we can't tell you, you know, so it was um them kill steel, you know. So Williams, um, Paul Harvey, yeah man, Paul Harvey, he must kill, he, he must kill by the uh, Renita Adams, you know, team, you know. And at the time when him killing me, he was wanted for the murder for Sergeant Leroy Steel in October, and shooting, you know, shooting up a dance in Rallington Town here of Kingston. Adams told the observer Steel was a sub officer in charge of Rallington Police Station, Rallington Town Police Station. 
and will probably kill while trying to apprehend Harvey. Williams said that them did not lock up all the man woman. So the thing is that now the youth has said all of that a lie. He might not try to lock up Harvey because he's a Harvey friend because Harvey Danai Williams, one of Danai Williams, shatter. So you see, as police, you're saying you mix up with corals and a murderer. That's how you lose your life. Because Steele was a police officer, a criminal in a uniform. I saw him lose his life. You understand? That's why it all is best for you as a police officer to stay on the right path. Don't sell a soul for money because you end up losing your life. And that's why I'm to steal. We don't know the, the, the genesis behind Derek Paul um, shooting, why them kill him, why them try to kill him. You understand? I don't know if he might ox or night them, my friend. And look here, I can't tell you this. I know in all the PMP, all the PMP party apparatus, it's apparatus. They will be able to convince. Alright, as much as them shame and try to kill him, they they ox and night and Danai Williams and all of them, they will be able to convince Derek Powell. If you tell him say all of them think they are nonsense and them thing there. And then we all give him all the money and just buy him out and him forgot to them try to kill him. And him and them are still friends. I saw it going in your PMP, you know. You know, you, you can't think. It no matter how intelligent you are, you know, because you have to hand over your brain to them. So we, you understand? We don't know if you man, Ox and, and Cowboy, them are friends, and Danai Williams still. But you have to understand, I saw it going to you know, PMP, LGBTQ plus criminal organization. You have to hand over your brain to them. When you hand over your brain to them, Everything, I just them control everything and them determine how you think and how you operate. We have to say Powell is still alive. You understand? Ne um, I have never asked him about the incident. I asked him what transpired, why them transfer him straight from Rockford to Olympic Gardens. I never asked him. I never tell him, say, I knew that they want to kill him. Because the reason why, not because him come from my community at Jonestown. The reason why I did not tell him, because if I had told him that, I don't know what would happen. You understand? Because it's not like me. I worked with him before. You understand? And I can tell you this. One time something happened. A thief, a, a, a thief in police, you know. Not knowing, say, hey, may I show you all life funny, you know. And I'm a family saved my life, you say, you know. Not knowing this policeman, I may I tell you his name. The policeman name is um, Aswal here. He said, hey, man, Dan I Williams, a friend. I was talking to Aswal here, cousin, a police named Bu Rigaby. That I might um, see the man from training school. Not knowing so the man or the man cousin and the man asked me some things about the man. I may tell the man say, yo, the police they are criminal, you know. And you know what? Um, you see, after me left up a um era five headquarters, which uh Constant Spring him was an uh, operation officer, a dental boy that called me, you know, and said, Hey Chris, where you there? I'ma tell him say me I drive. And the man say, Hey, pull over your vehicle. The man said, You don't know where you just do, I say no. The man said, I'm the man cousin you not talk to him. And the man I tell him cousin, you know, say, you're in farmer, you know, you feel dead, you know. You, you understand what I'm saying? Bu Rigaby. Me, I talk, me talk to him in a confidence, you know. Him asks me something about the man. And I tell him, say, yo, the man a criminal, you know, and I tell him some things with the man do. You understand? Not knowing, say, I'm family. And then by me left up a Kansan Spring, because upstairs in there, by me leave Kansan Spring, him up on the phone, I tell him everything of me, say. And them I say, I mean, if me for dead. I then the boy now, because I know if I have to tell me now, Chris, you understand? So, for sure, you say, you know, you have to be careful as police, you know, who you tell anything. Because look how, if then the boy um, weren't here, I know him dead, uh, rest in peace, Uncle B. If he wasn't there as a family, I have to make me know, you understand? Look how, and them didn't want to kill me too. So that's why you have to be careful. You don't know who is who. So we tell you, you know, you have some police at Jamaica. They're more dangerous than criminal, you know. Believe you me, you know. So have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica, Young Police Channel, out.